While working with streams in Node, I recently stumbled upon some types in the types node package, which I found were quite error prone, hard to read and were not changed for over five years. First, I was just thinking, well, I will just make a video to show how I would improve it. But then I was thinking, well, this is an open source project, so why not just open a merge request and see if it gets approved. And surprisingly, the merge request I proposed was merged into the types node package. So in this video, I will show you how I turned this code into this. Let's get started. So before I show you my proposed changes, let me first show you how it looked like before my changes. So we are here in a simple index.ts file and let's open the package JSON here. And we can see here, this is an early version of the types of node 22. So let's go back into the index.ts file and we can see here, we have two variables. We have a variable for read stream and one for write stream. Now for the ones of you who are not working with streams that often, let me first show you what you can do on the streams. So for example, we have this read stream here and we can use, for example, add listener to add a listener to certain events. So for example, we can say we want to add a listener for the end event, close, open, and so on. And you can see we have an auto completion for this. And for example, when I say I have data, in this case, then we can, for example, have a chunk in there, which when we hover over it, we can see this can be either a string or a buffer. But for example, when we have an end event here, we can see that this argument here will not be available. So for different events, we have different kind of list function types which are allowed to be used. Now let's say we want to figure out what kind of types this add listener function here allows. So let's click on this and we are now in the node.fs type declaration file. And as you can see here, we have quite some code here for these different functions we can use to add listeners. We have these overloaded function declarations for on, for ones, for prepend and for prepend once. And when we scroll through this, we can see that the events here look quite similar for all these different function declarations. But we cannot see at first glance if really all of these events are available in all of these overloaded functions. So for example, are all the event strings here the same as for once, on, and so on? Well, we cannot see this at first glance. We have to check this out for each of the overloaded functions. So for example, we have to check, okay, data for on has a listener function, which has an argument which can be a buffer or a string. Okay, we have the data here for once. This is the same for prepend listener with data. It's also the same, but we have to do this for all the overloaded functions to be sure. And this takes quite some time and it's also quite error prone because in many newer versions of Node, some new events were added to the Node stream to listen to. So for example, when a new event gets added, then we would have to add them manually to all these different functions here. So as mentioned, in my opinion, this is really error prone and also it's hard to read to see if all these event and listener combinations are the same for these different functions. Now let's go back into the index.ts file and let's see if the write stream is the same or if it's different. So let's open the on here and we can see we are now in the write stream class declaration and we can see we have exactly the same pattern. Everything is written manually and it has exactly the same issues. Now, before I show you how I made this much more concise with my changes, which were merged into the notes package, I want to show you one last thing here. So we can see here, we have all these different strings here for the event, but we also have an event here of type string or symbol. Why is this needed? We also need to be able to pass in custom strings for the event. And in this case, this will then just take a function which has any amount of arguments and returns void. And by using this approach, we still have the auto completion, but we still are allowed to pass in any string we want. So for example, in the index yes here, we are allowed to pass in hello. And as you can see, there is no error because yes, we have auto completion, but TypeScript understands that we also want to be able to pass in anything we like. So this was something important to keep in mind when I proposed my change. So let's remove this here and let's go into the package JSON file. So let's now update this to the newest version. So we update this to version 20. 2.13.5 and let's open a terminal and let's use npm install here and we are now ready to use the newest version of the types node package. So let's now go into the index.ts file again and as you can see nothing really changed, everything still compiles as before but let's first see if everything still works as expected. So instead of this hello here, we want to check if the auto completion works. So we can see we still have the auto completion for all these different events here. So for example, error here, we can still use and so on. And we of course are still allowed to pass in anything we'd like. But let me now show you my proposed changes and how they look like. 
Let's first close this here and let's open the types for the ad listener. Let's click on this. And now we are exactly at the same spot before we update it to the newest version. And even without looking close into the code, you can clearly see one thing. It's much more concise. We don't have that many overloaded functions anymore. We just have one function declaration per function. So we have one for ad listener on once prepend and prepend once. Now, maybe you have already spotted it. They are now generic functions. So what we tell TypeScript is we have this type variable, which we name K here, and we say this has to be a key of read stream events. So we will see in a second what this read stream events is, but let's first see where the K here is used. So the K here is used as the type of this event argument here. And it's also used here where we say we want to use it to use an indexed access on our read stream events type. So let's now see what the read stream events is. So you maybe have spotted it. It's right below here. This is a simple type called read stream events and its keys are the events which are allowed in our functions. And the values are the type declarations for our listener. Because TypeScript is really clever. For example, when you pass in data for the event, then it stores the type into the K variable and it then can figure out what kind of function is allowed for our listener argument. And the same for end and so on. Now, in my opinion, this makes it much, much easier to understand. And it's also much less error prone because first, when you read this, you can clearly see all these functions have exactly the same events. So you don't have to check if there is a different event for add listener or for on. So you can be sure that everything which is in this read stream events is the same for all the functions. And why is it less error prone? Because let's say in newer versions of Node, there is a new event which gets added to the stream API, then we can just add it in one place and we don't have to add an overloaded function declaration for all these functions here. Now, before I've shown you that we also have to support these custom events. So you need to make sure that you can pass in, for example, the event hello, and then listen to it because we also need to support this. And this is why we have this custom events here. What is this custom events? This custom events type makes sure that exactly this behavior is still possible so that we still can pass in any string we like, but that we still have our auto completion. I already did a video about this pattern where we use the string and the empty object literal here to make sure that we still have auto completion. You can find the link to the video in the info box and in the description below. But basically what this tells TypeScript is that you want to have auto completion for these keys here, but we still want to allow any other string. So we can see that this works for a read stream. Let me now just quickly show you how this works for a write stream because this is basically the same. Let's scroll down here and we can see we have here the equivalent for a write stream because exactly the same pattern was used for the write stream events. So as for the read stream events, there were just so many overloaded functions. Now, of course, here we use the same approach, but we have different events here. For example, we have a drain event, which is not available for a read stream. This is why I've created a new type here. Now, when we scroll down here for a write stream, we can see here we have exactly the same pattern as for the read stream. So we have our five functions, which are all generic functions, which have our K here, which is just a type variable, which is then used for our event type. And TypeScript can then figure out what kind of listener functions are allowed. So in my opinion, this makes it much, much easier to reason about and it's much less error prone. And I have to say, I'm really proud that my proposal was merged. I did not expect that it was merged because it was like this for over five years, but I am really grateful that they took their time and reviewed it and merged it into such a huge package and that my changes are now used by so many developers under the hood. But I'm really interested in your opinion. What do you think about this change? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Let me know it in the comments. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something useful today. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for the newest TypeScript stuff. And also let me know in the comments what kind of topics you'd like to have covered in future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.